Today, we're going to review the good and the bad of living right here in Wellington, Florida. So let's get into it. And guys, if we haven't met before, my name's Larry Masterpuri. I'm the broker owner of the Masterpuri Group based right here in sunny South Florida. And we're constantly speaking with people like yourself who are thinking about relocating to the area. So don't hesitate to reach out, send me a text, shoot me an email, give me a call. We're happy to speak with you about getting you here to beautiful South Florida. Now let's get into the pros and cons. Now Wellington is extremely well known for being the equestrian capital of the United States, and it is is known worldwide for equestrian activities, but Wellington has so much more to offer, so let's get into it. Let's start the discussion with schools. Wellington is located in the Palm Beach County School District. It's the 10th largest school district in the United States. It serves 167,000 students, and it's A-rated. Wellington is very well known for having great public schools, which is a big pro here on our list. Wellington's public school system ranks 64% in math proficiency as compared to the Florida public school average of 48%. Also, Wellington's public school reading proficiency score ranks 69% compared to the statewide average of 52%. And additionally, Wellington's public schools rank an average of 9 out of 10, which is in the top 20th percentile of all Florida public schools. There's also a handful of private schools that exist here in Wellington. According to privateschoolreview.com, there's about nine schools that are available here in Wellington that are private. Now let's get into the geography of Wellington, where it's located, and the pros and cons associated with that. First, Wellington is a great suburban community option, great family community located just west of West Palm Beach. So if you're commuting to work in West Palm Beach or you need to spend time here in West Palm Beach, this city is a great option to live in because it's not too far away. It's about 20-ish minutes from downtown West Palm Beach. It's also very efficient to get to the West Palm Beach International Airport if you live in Wellington. It's about 20 minutes or less to get there. And if you need to get on a different type of flight or a flight that West Palm Beach International doesn't have, you can always go to Fort Lauderdale International, which is about an hour away. Wellington borders the Everglades to its west. And if you look a little further west, it borders the agricultural business of sugar. And if you didn't know this, Florida is known to be the number one producer of sugar here in the United States. Over the past 20 years or so, Wellington has developed quite a bit. There's a lot of master plan communities here from major developers, and that has happened again over the past 20 years. So most of the homes are 2000 vintage product or late 90s. So compared to other areas in South Florida, the homes are much newer here in Wellington which is a pro from my perspective. Also, the homes tend to be a little cheaper than some of the comparable markets such as Boca Raton or West Boca Raton as an example. So again, another pro here for Wellington, affordable and newer homes in master plan communities. Most of these master plan communities are obviously HOAs, so some of them are gated. So if you are favoring a gated master plan community, you may wanna consider Wellington as a good option. There are other communities in Wellington that are non-HOA, but a lot of them are big master plan communities that are HOAs. Also another thought, if you're looking for a condo, you're probably not going to find too much inventory here in Wellington as it compares to other cities here in South Florida, like Boca Raton as an example. A lot of these cities on the coast have a lot more condo inventory. Wellington has significantly less. The big geographic con for the city of Wellington, and a big con for me personally, is that you are 20 to 30 minutes away from a beach if you live in the city of Wellington. Wellington does not have a beach like other cities such as Boca Raton, Delray Beach, West Palm Beach. And so I rank that as a very large con here for Wellington. So let me tell you why I think living 20 to 30 minutes away from the beach can be a con for some people. I always start my conversations with my customers by asking them, what do you value here in the home you're buying, locationally and structurally? What are you looking for? And if you tell me you value being at the beach, being close to the beach, getting there, and you think 20 to 30 minutes is okay, that's great, that's fine. But I'll tell you, 
I've sold plenty of houses to people who value being at the beach regularly and they buy a house out west. And I usually have this conversation. I tell them, hey, you know, as you live here in South Florida, you're going to start to think 20 to 30 minutes is a bit of a distance, a little bit of a long drive. I know you're coming from somewhere in the country where driving 20, 30, 45 minutes is no big deal. But as you grow accustomed to living down here and everything being 10, 15 minutes away tops, you're going to start to think 20, 30 minutes is a long drive. And you may not get to the beach or wherever you'd like to go as frequently because you're going to feel like it's a bit of a drive. So take my word for it. This is something that I've seen happen a number of times. I've sold people homes in West Boca, West Boynton, in Wellington that really value the beach and really value getting there regularly. And eventually, a year or two later, they call me up and they say, hey, we're going to sell this house. We're going to buy something closer to the beach because that's what we really value. And they wish they had done that from the beginning. So just keep that in mind. If you really value the beach and being close, this might be something you need to consider. Let's talk about the cost of living in Wellington. Wellington is not known for being cheap. Wellington is ranked 128 as compared to West Palm Beach, which is 108. So it's about 15% higher to live in Wellington from a cost of living perspective than living in West Palm Beach. I think you always have to take these cost of living metrics with a grain of salt. I think it's super important to note here that I think buying a home in Wellington gets you a little bit more bang for your buck in most cases. If you compare, again, Wellington to Boca Raton, you can typically get a newer home, a newer vintage home in Wellington for a better price than you would be able to get in West Boca Raton. So from my perspective, you get a higher quality home for a better price in Wellington, which is great. And also property crime here in Wellington is a 28 out of 100 compared to the national average of 35. And if we're comparing to some of the other cities locally, I would say Wellington is one of the safest cities here in South Florida. We've been talking about Wellington for a while, but I haven't elaborated on the big thing that Wellington's known for, which I mentioned earlier. It's the equestrian capital of the United States. Wellington is known internationally in the equestrian space. So let's talk about what that means for people that live there and all the activities related to it. It's pretty cool. First, let's talk about the Winter Equestrian Festival. It's the largest and longest running equestrian sports event in the world. 8,000 horses, 250,000 spectators, 43 countries represented, all of that converges on Wellington between January and April of each year. There's a ton of people in the area. It's a super cool place to go check out during the winter if you're looking for something very unique to do, very different. Also, the National Polo Club is located here in Wellington. Polo in Wellington is a big deal. They host tournaments between January and April of each year. Something like 200 games are played during that time. You can buy tickets and spectate. I recommend anyone who lives in the area definitely go check this out. It's a blast. It's not something you could do in many places here in the country. Wellington also has a very cool nature preserve that's 365 acres. It's called the Wellington Environmental Preserve Area. It's got walking trails. There's tons of wildlife. It's just a huge space. It's got a six-story tower for observation. There's learning centers. There's a lot of stuff there. It's absolutely worth checking out if you're into nature. It's just a little west here in Wellington. Another Wellington highlight is the Wellington Aquatics Complex. It's got a 10,000 square foot facility with a swimming pool that's Olympic size with all the tech. It's a big pro for the community. When it comes to shopping, the Wellington Mall is definitely a great option. It's alive, it's well, it's popular here in the area. Unlike some of the other malls in South Florida, this one is not in trouble. It's a great place to go grab food, dinner, and or do your shopping. So this mall is definitely one of the better malls here in Palm Beach County. And right next to the Wellington Aquatic Complex is the Wellington Amphitheater, which is a great spot. It's a 3,200 square foot facility, and they hold a ton of outdoor events, such as concerts, plays, etc. It's a cool little spot to go hang out and spend a night. And right next to the Aquatic Center and the Amphitheater is the Lakeside Market. My friends call it the Twilight Market because it opens on Friday at 5 p.m. It's basically a green market 
and it overlooks the lake. I think the big pro for Wellington is it does have a lot of parks, it does have a lot of athletic facilities, not just for the equestrian activities, but also for soccer, tennis, golf, all that stuff, because it is very much a suburban family community with many master plan neighborhoods within it. So I think that's a big pro if you're looking to raise a family. On top of that, the public schools are great. So overall, just huge pro, I think, to raise a family in Wellington. Another huge advantage for Wellington, from my perspective, is the Tennis Center. It opened in 2015. To this day, it feels new, it's clean, the staff is great. It has 21 courts, open to the public, Tons of professionals are there to help train you. You can get whatever you need related to tennis in this facility. It's a great program they're running over there. That's all I have for you guys on the pros and cons of living here in Wellington. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found value. If you did, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button for more content just like this. And I'm Larry Masterpiri. I'm broker owner of the Masterpiri Group right here in South Florida. And we work with people all the time relocating to the South Florida area. So don't hesitate to reach out if that's you. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.